Hi everybody, this is Brooklyn Heights from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11, and today I will be doing a makeup tutorial on my gold look. I hope you like it, and stay tuned to see me transform from this to this. So step number one for me is covering these bad boys right here. And what I like to use is Prosade and whatever this is. I think it's an eyebrow brush. So let's just go ahead and do this. You take the Prosade and you go backwards against your brow so it really gets in the hair. I like Prosade um, instead of glue stick or spirit gum because it holds a lot, lot better. It's actually like a prosthetics adhesive. So, um, like I've gone swimming with my eyebrows covered and it has not lifted. So yeah, after you have it on, you're gonna start on the outside again and brush that prosate up and get all the brows straight and going in one line. And it takes a little second to dry, so I just like to get this while it's still wet. So I have a, a newer brush and an older brush here and I like to use the older brush side because it already has a bunch of buildup on it and I find that's really helpful for actually laying the brows down. So next step is you take some powder, a lot of powder, and you really just push it into that brow. And this is what's gonna set it and keep it there all day. This is a translucent powder. You could use a non-translucent powder too. I just use a translucent powder to set my face. So I find it's just easier to have one. And there you go. Your brow is ready and gone. So next is primer. Primer is very, very important, especially when you're in dry because it keeps the makeup from soaking too much into your skin. At least that's what I think it does. We need to cover the beard area with a color corrector. This is just orange grease paint. And you put it all over your beard areas and it kind of blocks the blue in your beard. Do some under the eyes too, if you have dark circles under your eyes. So now that we've kind of primed and prepped everything and blocked everything down, it's time to foundation this bitch. I like liquid because it spreads easier for me. And it just makes me feel more feminine in general. So I was probably the fastest person to get ready on season 11 just because I'm super impatient and you're under so much pressure on the show. It's such time constraints, because you gotta, you gotta do everything quickly. So I always wanted to make sure I was ready on time for everything, so I would literally just like run through my makeup. So this is done. We're about to move on to highlight. And for this, I do use a pan stick. Because it's not my whole face. I don't even know why. I don't even know how people did this before Beauty Blenders. This is so easy. And contour. This I like to find where my cheekbone is. So my cheekbone is right there. Anyone just below it, so like there. Different shade. Same thing with your jaw. So I have two different contour colors. Um, I just bought one of them the other day, so I decided to try it out. And it's a little bit tiny bit darker than the forehead and jaw contour. And I kind of like it, so I kept it. So there. So then we have a different makeup sponge for this contour. I like to try to achieve a little bit more of a natural look when it comes to contouring. Like, I don't like to look like I have lines on my face for my particular aesthetic of drag. So I like to keep it as light as possible. So probably the Drag Race girl I get compared to most is Detox. 
who's a very good friend of mine actually, and is the nicest thing anybody could ever say to me because I adore her. She's such a cool queen and such a great human being. <laughs> it's my detox face. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in with the same color I do my jaw and my um, forehead with. Just darken up a little bit in the nose. Translucent powder, sponge, or whatever this thing is. I always like to do a little dot at the end of my nose. I don't know what it does, but I saw a drag queen do it once and I liked it, so I did it. Boop, boop. It's kind of cute. So that'll kind of sink into my skin a little bit. Next step is eyes, which is my favorite part of doing my makeup. So I put white underneath just to catch all the fallout from the eyeshadow. I like to take a light, I take like a light brown and kind of outline the shape of my crease. It's just like a nice warm brown or light. It's like a, almost like a spicy cinnamon color, clove color. It just blends really nicely. I do color on my once in a while, but my favorite, I love like neutral earth tones on my eyes. So browns and blacks. Is black an earth tone? It could be. This is my favorite brown, and I wish I could tell you what it was and where it was from, because it is the best thing ever, but I can't. This, so this brown, I'm gonna go in. It's much darker, and this is kind of what I'm gonna start cutting my crease with. And it's always better, I find, to start with lighter colors and work your way up to a darker color. Yeah, I'm softening this brown line a little bit as I go. I do it with a smaller, harder brush, and then I go in with a, a softer brush. Or a bigger brush and kind of buff it out a little bit. And take your crease with a little foundation. your translucent powder and I'm just gonna dab it on the eyelid to set that. Ta-da! Now for my favorite part. So, I hate drawing on my eyebrows more than anything in the entire world. It is my least favorite thing about drag because I have a very uneven face and to get my eyebrows, my eyebrows perfectly symmetrical is really difficult. I found lace front eyebrows. So I've worn them a couple times, so I'm gonna show them to you today. So we need spirit gum. So you're just gonna put glue all on the eyebrow. Make sure you get the ends and everything all together. And then you just kind of position it where you want it to go. So yeah, that looks about right. We're gonna All right, so now that that's done, we need to do our eyeliner. I use like a liquid clay kind of eyeliner. Cause it's really smooth and it goes on really easily. So I always do a really thick line on the top just cause I basically cover my whole lid in liner. I'm winging it like semi far. This isn't too far for a wing. I like to use a pencil for the bottom. This one is like an eyeliner marker. It has a really fine tip. It's good for going over details. That is correct, I'm using mascara now. Everybody, this is a mascara wand. And what it does is it darkens the eyelashes. So 
that they blend in. So I think we're pretty good here. I'm gonna dust this off. And the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our powder contours and blushes. So you just go over that area you did color contour on earlier. This is actually like a, it's like a dusty pink brown color. It's not dark brown. Cause again, I don't like that. I like the, how soft this one is, but it still kind of does the job. All right, so that's contour and highlight pretty much done. Now we go on to blush. I like to use a really pretty coral color, actually, before I do that. I use a softer beige color, which is also kind of a peachy coral. Just grow it in here, it warms out nicely. And now we go a little bit brighter coral, peach coral. People use brushes for their shimmer highlights. Brushes never work for me, so I literally just use my finger. Right on the top of the cheekbone. All right, now let's do the lips. Purple lip for this, because I think it's really pretty with the gold. This is a liquid lipstick. My gold look is kind of an old Hollywood look, so I kind of want to do a dark lipstick to go with that. Next step is eyelashes. So yeah, it's two pairs of lashes stacked together. One of them's a 301. Don't know what the other one is, don't care. So I use Weep Bond. Weep Bond's great because you don't have to wait for it to dry really. You just can kind of plop it on your eye and call it a day. Oh, look at that woman. I look pretty, would you f me? I'm carving out my cheek. Just cutting it underneath a little bit. What? I said just so you don't freak out because the only people you believe is Plastique and Nina for some reason. Oh my God! <laughs> Setting spray and you go. Oh. The face that sent Vanji home. So now that my face is done, I'm gonna go put on the rest of my costume so I can slay the runway, honey. Yes, God, death drop. All right, here we are, the final look. This is my gold look uh, from season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race, one of the runways. It's very old Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard slash fortune teller. And I just love it. I feel beautiful, I feel rich, I feel expensive. I hope you had as much fun as I did not. You can follow me on Instagram at bheights, that's B-H-Y-T-E-S, or on Facebook at Brooklyn Heights. I hope to see you guys all soon on the road and stuff, and let's have some fun. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Mwah. Talk to you soon. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.